in the car with like b-roll footage of me driving in a very long time like pre-covid so that felt really good this is a very random thing that i'm doing but tk there's been some confusion i think a lot of you guys think that she moved out of her old apartment and moved into our place but the truth is with covid going on and with her roommate being out of town she was alone in her apartment so she's had her apartment this entire time she's just been living with us during this whole you know global pandemic thing so she officially is done living at her old place she got a new lease at a new apartment for this year so I am headed over to her place for the very first time I've never actually been to her place before I'm headed over there right now to help her grab some of her stuff and move it into our place for now until she moves into her new place hopefully that made sense but yeah it's kind of weird I'm going to her place for the first time and also the last time <laughs> interesting anyways let's go see Tiki's place Juice. what in the elevator just cleared out her entire apartment. It's yeah. empty and this is weird because it's my first time being here, but should you give us an empty apartment tour? Welcome <laughs> to my crib. Hello. This is the kitchen area, normally it's clean. Mm -hmm. Envision this whole thing clean. This is one of my favorite additions because it has the laundry. Which is nice, there. nice. But it also has so much storage room. For sure. I have my infamous white leather couch right here. Uh huh. And then the TV here and the shelf and a mirror. This is what I took on my mirror picks. I was Your like, mirror picks. I was like, all the time, yep. Here's the balcony. Mm -hmm. This is cute. This is cute. I never could really show this because I didn't want people knowing where I live. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. But yeah, here's the balcony. Beautiful. I could do this and like open up so I could get some fresh air. For nice. sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Woo! And then this is my room. Hey guys, welcome to my room. <laughs> this is where my bed lives. And I had two nightstands and then I had a dresser here. This is my hat wall. This is my bed. Show them the crazy closet. So much wow. storage. Wow, look at this. I would literally kill for a closet this big. It's so weird. I is just, yours not that big? It's not that big. It's not that big. That is weird. And like the way that they like set it up and stuff so is nice. like smart. The yeah. way the oh, way mine yes. is. Where I feel like that, like you get the most. They were so good with storage here. Like I feel sure. like I was like not even worried about storing. Yeah. yeah. The lighting's nice too, these windows. I know. Vanilla latte. Good morning. Yes, please. 
Yeah. Hi, um, can I do venti? Mm -hmm. Can I have a venti ice vanilla latte with soy? Venti ice vanilla latte, alright. Can I have that with soy milk? Can I get a grande cold brew? Yeah. Thank you. Wow, it's way too bright. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey. Oh my gosh, this all smells so smells good. incredible. So we're sitting in the car here and this old lady walked by. I think she just left the bank behind us. And she had she a the bank. Louie fanny pack. That's like a level. So much swag. I don't even know if I have that much swag to but you know what? Out. You know why she pulls it off? Because she's wearing like a bejeweled old lady shirt. And she's got the like it's old like lady haircut. Aztec you design. Her cane ain't nothing fancy. But then it's like boom, boom. Louis Fanny. I want to be like that when I get old. We'll just sell everything we own mm -hmm. and then buy like a bougie fanny pack <laughs> and then we'll just show up to our retirement home because we're going to live in the same one. Oh, 100%. And we'll just be like, Husbands hey, Bob. No yeah. Hey, Bob. <laughs> How's it hanging? Bob. Oh, you need some chapstick? <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out her little pill box. <laughs> Taryn has always carried this little pill box, something my, like my grandma would do. But, but how many so, vines has it gotten us out of? It comes in clutch so often. She'll and just be so like, cute. She'll be like, God, I'm getting a headache. And she'll be like, you need a nap what you need? What's your, what's your drug of choice? <laughs> I have like Benadryl, Claritin, and then Advil. Okay, everyone. Today is a very monumentous day for Taryn and I. You guys know how much we prioritize our nails. Look at these. Look at these. We haven't gotten our nails done since pre-COVID. I happened to get my like right at the top, like right before we went on lockdown here in LA. Literally right when COVID stuff started going around. Yeah. I waited to do it like two days later and it was like, no, that's how fast it wasn't went. an option. So there's a nail salon that happened to open up now. There's a lot of precautions. We have to keep our masks on, there's shields and stuff. We haven't experienced this in any way, but this is our first time trying it. And I'm gonna give it a go. We're both gonna just not touch our faces, keep our masks on. I brought AirPods. I'm not even gonna like talk to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to a podcast and um yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm a little nervous. Let's do before. Mine actually from far away from, look. Okay, the camera makes my hand look kind of kind of decent but don't be deceived it's not it's they're really disgusting not. they're kind of bubbly and rough oh, show this one <laughs> <laughs> oh my god cute oh, hello oh thank you Hello guys. I realized that I have to take a photo really quick. I forgot yesterday, so I have to do it now. So I'm going to quickly throw on a little bit of makeup, not a full face. This is kind of, I think, going to be my opportunity to show you guys what I've been doing for like a no makeup makeup look that I've been doing a lot during quarantine. Also just some new favorites because I have found some new favorites. Also, speaking of favorites, I have been wanting the Bays makeup bag for a while, the travel case. I personally love to just keep my makeup in the travel case at all times and then just whip out the bag whenever I want it. This is a really great bag. Opens up like a bucket, like an empty flat bucket. It has a zipper with a mirror here that it comes with, as well as like this pocket on top. Anyways, I digress. I've had a few travel makeup bags and this one's by far my absolute favorite. This was not an ad for this company, but it could be. <laughs> I've already washed, prepped, primed, and applied sunblock to my face. Something that I have been trying lately is Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer. I have never tried this before. I got it maybe two weeks ago. I am just gonna go ahead and say that I'm a really big fan of it. It goes on very lightly. You don't need a lot, but you can also pack it on too. So what I've been doing is I've just been kind of using my fingers going like that, I'm just kind of rubbing it into my skin. This is a great alternative alternative for foundation, especially when you're doing stuff just around the house and you don't want a full face of makeup on, you definitely could use a blender or a foundation brush to apply this. But because it is a moisturizer and not foundation, I personally want to just use my fingers. I feel like it makes more sense that way. As you can see, it's a very thin. It doesn't cover like you would want a foundation to. So keep that in mind. If you have stuff going on on your skin that you want to cover, maybe definitely use foundation. For example, I have a little breakout right here. Quarantine's doing all kinds of things to my skin. I'm not going to apply concealer everywhere, but I'll put a little bit there. And honestly, I think that's fine. My under eyes aren't amazing, so maybe I'll apply some right here. Because I'm not using foundation, I'm just gonna dab it out with my fingers. 
ah, oh, that looks so much better already. So the whole point for me specifically is when I have to do something in front of the camera, but I don't want to put a whole face of makeup on, this has been my routine. Little concealer where needed, but not all over my face and call it a day. Hopefully you guys can notice a difference with this lighting. I'm not really using bronzer in any way, but I have been using Glossier's Cloud Paint. I'm a big fan of this one. This is in the color Dusk. So with this product, a little FYI, a little bit goes a long way. I just take my pinky fingers, dab it onto my cheeks, like the apples of my cheeks, and I just blend it out. You don't need a lot. It is much better to go light and add more if you want more, but look at how pretty that is. Cute. I think I'm gonna add a tiny bit more specifically to this cheek. There we go. There. This specific color looks a little bit bronzy, which I like. Bronzy is typically the color that looks best on me. There we go. Looks good. If you want to, you can do an eyebrow. I love my eyebrow gel. I don't have to do too much. I just kind of brush the brow hairs into place. With the brow gel, you can like coat it on too. So you could do like one coat, two coat, three coat. I personally, because I don't have a lot of makeup on today, I'm only gonna do one coat, but the goal is to just add a little bit of color and get the brow hairs into place. Also, this one is is a uh, gimme brow by benefit in the color two. And yeah, that's kind of it. I actually have mascara on already, so I don't need to apply mascara. I always go in with a little bit of a finishing spray because there is some makeup product on there. I don't want it moving around. This is a uh, Veil by Hourglass. Let it dry. Cool. And then for lips, this is something that I just recently purchased. This is by M Cosmetics, Michelle Fawn's products. I've never purchased one of her products before, but I saw her ad for this and I thought it was absolutely stunning. It's this really pretty blush color. This is the Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer in the color Venetian Rose. I also like the applicator a lot. I have a lip balm on already, so this is just going on top of that. Honestly obsessed. It looks a lot darker on camera than it does in person, but it looks really pretty. And I'm a big fan of it. So that is my finished makeup look. Hopefully you guys like it. So I'm sitting here editing this and I realized I never finished the vlog. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. I feel like this vlog was a little all over the place, but you know what? Life's like that sometimes. So <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a little all over the place. Okay, I swear I'll, I'll do better next time. Love you, bye.